Peace. And blessings. Let's get it. Let's get it, man. Let's go. This video is going to be about... Man, they ain't your friends, bro. Not everyone that's around in your circle is your friend. You got to understand, bro. Jesus had 12 disciples. One of them was a devil. All right. So that means that when you have a group of friends, one of them is not going to have your best interests at heart. One of them is going to want to see you fall. One of them is jealous of you. And you got to also understand that every single day of your lives is a spiritual warfare going on. The unseen realm. Every single day. And you being a child of God, you got to understand Satan will send his children because God has his children. The devil has his children. God has his chosen ones. The devil has his chosen ones. So he's going to send. And I know this from experience. I'm not just speaking because I've seen a video and I'm just sharing my experience. No, I know this from experience, man. On my semen retention journey, especially... The enemy, his, he would send his children my way to get, to get me go back to partying, get me back, go back to clubbing. And I remember this. This is how I know this dude was the agent, right? Or at least a child of the devil. Okay, so I stopped. And this guy would always tell me, he's like, Mark. And I knew he was like a narcissist. Narcissist guys, they're devils, bro. Like, they are children of the devil. They, they're all about themselves. They have no love. They're jealous and envious. They're snakes. That's what a narcissist is, a damn snake, right? So... And one thing about a snake too, one thing I learned about these snakes, they want to be close to you. They, they always want to know what you're doing. They want to like control you. They have like a controlling demonic narcissism spirit in them. Okay. So this is how, this is how you, this is, remember children of God versus children of the devil. It's not about what they want you to believe, Republican, Democrat, or Biden and Trump. That's all matrix of things that are out of your control. What things that are in your control are things that are taking place in your life. Think about what's happening in Russia and Ukraine. Unless you're in the military, that's not your war. That's not your fight. Your fight is spiritual warfare. Like, for instance, when you see Conor McGregor fighting or like Floyd May Mayweather, you're not going to jump in the ring and fight for them. That's their fight. The only thing you can do is just watch. It's the same thing was taking place in World War III. Don't, if you're not in the military, all you can do is just watch. Don't even worry about that. What you got to worry about is spiritual warfare, the, the fight of your soul, fighting this flesh. That's what you got to worry, worry about. So this is a little story time I went through. This is how I know this is real, bro. They're not all your friends. This dude would always be wanting me to chill with them, always wanted me to hang out with them every single day. And whenever I'd be doing something that went against his program, he would get so mad. It's like, whenever I see people doing things that I don't do, like, I let them do what they do. Like, that has nothing to do with me. As long as it doesn't affect me, my family, I could care less. But some of these people, Satan's children, they're narcissists, they have like a controlling spirit. They want to control you. So this guy would always tell me, Mark, you got to stop smoking, which I, that's what I liked about him because I didn't want to smoke and I knew it was wrong. I knew it was a sin. I knew that I had to give it up. I was just weak at the time. And he would always tell me, you know, Mark, you got to stop smoking. And he would always post like things like to make fun of weed smokers. And I would be like, even though I would still be smoking, like I would agree with him because I knew like this is feminine. This is beta male stuff, bro. Like, I don't want to be doing this ish no more. You know, I knew that. So I was like, okay, you know, he's on the same side, even though I'm struggling, right? The minute I stopped smoking, bro, the, the day one, this is spiritual warfare, man. The minute I stopped smoking, like I said, I used to hang out with this dude almost every single day. The minute I stopped smoking, all of a sudden he's like, hey, Mark, I got some weed. Let's go smoke. What the hell, bro? My, bro, what? You can't tell me this is not spiritual warfare. He would always be on Snapchat, always be on social media, always. And people didn't want to be around him because he was always judgmental. And the minute I stopped smoking, then now he's like, hey, let's smoke. Like, you see, these dude, these people are not your friends, bro. You got to be very cautious, very weary. Satan will send his children your way just to distract you, just to lead you astray, bro. This dude was taking me to darkness, man. Now, let's be... I'm the, I'm the guy that's control. I'm the one that's in control of my life. So I'm not going to say he was taking me to darkness because I'm the one at the end of the day who has to make the decision, make have the free will choice. But you got to be weary, very, very weary of the company you keep because even the Bible says that, um, you know, don't be unequally yoked. That's not just with relationships. That's not just with like a marriage and stuff like that. That's with your friendships too. If they're not on the same path as you, if they're not walking that narrow path, they're not, they're not trying to uh, live a life of righteousness to deny themselves daily. And, and be for the kingdom of God, they're not your friends, bro. Even the Bible says, even Jesus said that, um, you know, they were like, oh, Jesus, your mother, your mother is not. And he was like, what? Hold up, wait. He who does the will of God, that's my mother. That's my father. That's that's my brother. That's my sister. Okay, he, it's something like that. So just because, you know, they call you your brothers, if they're not doing the will of God, they're not doing God's work, they ain't your brother, bro. They ain't your sister. It, it's the truth, man. It's the truth. And this is why I don't call everyone my brother, everyone my sister, even though I know most people who say that have good intentions, just like I did. Like I wanted to show love, but if they're not doing the will of God, bro, they're not my brother. And you got to understand this too, as a chosen one, you're doing the will of God. You strive on that righteous, narrow path. 
and the, just like if you have a friend who's you know who's kind of like lukewarm double-minded or doesn't really know about spiritual warfare the enemy is gonna you especially if it's a female that's why don't it you should only be in a relationship to get into a marriage never be in a relationship just to be in a relationship you're wasting your time i understand in our 20s we do that because we're still young and we want to get relationship experiences we don't want to be alone so i understand that but you gotta understand if you're not in, if, if you're in a relationship right now and you have no plans on marrying that person especially if you guys are living together you're just wasting your time bro and you gotta understand the closer you get to god and god's calling you god's calling you to eternal life god's calling you to be a chosen one and maybe god's not calling her or him yet maybe because they don't have the heart they don't have the discipline or they don't maybe god doesn't see something special in them but he sees something special in you the enemy is going to use that that vessel whether it's a man or a woman to distract you to lead you astray to to bring you back down to darkness and at the same time notice how i said earlier how this guy was leading me to darkness it wasn't him because it's a free will choice i could have easily cut him off like i said i was weak but at the, at, god gives us strength and this is why when you're weak the bible says to pray back then i wasn't praying as much so i was falling to more temptation let me repeat, I wasn't praying as much, I was falling more into temptation. I was struggling on my semen retention journey. I was smoking, even though I knew I shouldn't be smoking. I was doing things that I knew that I shouldn't be doing because my flesh is weak, but I wasn't praying. I wasn't asking God for strength, for spiritual strength. I was just submitting to my flesh. And we all know what the Bible says, that when you submit to your flesh, it leads to death. You know, the wages of sin is death and not, not, it can lead to physical death too, but spiritual death, being disconnected from God. That's one of the worst feelings you can receive. Even the Bible says it's a fearful thing to fall from the hands of the living God. And I remember I had a dream, a crazy dream, bro. And God speaks to me through dreams, man. So I was with some agent female. Like I said, when you're, when you're, in, when you're living a life of sin, guys, agents come your way and you don't even know they're agents because you're not sober minded. You know, be, be sober, be vigilant. Villagent, I'm probably saying that wrong. Don't leave in the comments. You know what I'm saying. Be sober, be vigilant because the enemy, the devil, comes to seek to someone to devour. Okay? So when you're not sober minded, angels are going to come your way and they're going to disguise themselves as angels of your light. They're going to disguise themselves as Christians or all that uh, Bible believers, whole time they're enemies. Okay? But I wasn't sober minded, so I didn't know that. So I was attracting eight, uh, children of the devil, friends, relationships. And I had a dream. This is a crazy dream, bro. And I always remember this the rest of my life because I remember that scripture. You know, that's why the Bible says, you know, you got to study to show yourself approved. When you're going through spiritual warfare and you know the word, it's like you understand things better. And, you know, that's why I tell people, you know, get wisdom, get understanding. That's not what I said. The Bible says that. Get wisdom, get understanding. So you understand things better. And the Bible even says that wisdom is a defense. So when you're going through spiritual warf warfare, wisdom will shield you. Wisdom will protect you. It will preserve you. It will speak through you. And it will tell you what to do. Now, many people disobey wisdom. Even the Bible talks about the people who disobey wisdom. That um, they were given over. Their, their inheritance was given over to a strange woman. You know, to uh, like a baby mom or something like that. Right? So I was with an aged female in a relationship. I knew I shouldn't be with this girl. Uh, I knew it was a red flags after red flags, bro. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. And that's why we gotta be sober, man. We gotta stop stop living in sin because when you're living in when you're living in sin, guys, it's easier to be deceived. Uh, your armor is weak. Sin destroys. It, it weakens your spiritual your armor of God. It weakens it. Okay, and it's more easier for the enemies to pierce through deception, pierce through confusion, pierce through lies. You know that their sword is sword of the sea. Our sword our sword is the sword of God. Okay, so I had a dream that. God was holding me. I was flying in the sky. God was holding me. I, I wasn't flying with wings. Like God was holding me and I was, you know, in the sky. He was holding me up. And I looked down. And I see nothing but snakes, bro. Like I see nothing but snakes. And that dream felt so real, bro. And with that dream, I, at the, the minute I woke up, because God gave me like, you know how Joseph has, like he knew how, he knew how to understand dreams. It's the same thing with me. Like I understand dreams. Now I'm not on the level like Joseph because it's all levels. Just like a discernment, your discernment gets sharper and sharper the more you level up. Same thing with wisdom. My wisdom gets sharper and sharper the more I level up. Knowledge gets sharper and sharper. Everything, you know, so so right now, even though I'm on a low level when it comes to uh, understanding my dreams, as I get older, as I level up more and more, then I'm going to understand it better. So um, I instantly woke up and I was like, oh, shoot, that Bible verse is a fearful thing to, ha to fall from the hands of the living God. And that night I had that dream. I was sleeping next to the enemy. I was sleeping next to the enemy, bro, and I had that dream. So God, when, when you're with these friends that are not meant to be in your life, that are just, that are, that are, that are Satan's children, because what do Satan's children do? They, they take on traits just like their father is saying. They want to deceive you, lead you astray, lie to you, play games, manipulate, control you. They have a controlling, nar a narcissistic spirit is a, it's one of the most demonic spirits you could have, bro. In these last days, that's one of the most demonic spirits, man. Try to control someone, 
you know? So God always speaks to us. And on all these times, like, you know, there's even a saying that misery loves company. So when you're leveling up and you're striving to level up through God's kingdom, being obedient to advance, move forward to light to, to eternal life by your obedience to him, to, your obedience to his word, obedience to his law, statute, commandments, right? You, you're allowing the spirit, the spirit of Christ in, okay? You're, 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 you're bearing the fruits of the spirit. You got to understand, man, the enemy is going to send his children your way, agents, just to lead you astray, just so you could not understand God's will in your life, God's purpose in your life, or maybe you do understand it, but you don't have the energy to do it. Because what do these energy vampires do? What do Satan's children do to drain you of your energy, bro? It's not a coincidence. The minute I stopped smoking, this guy would always preach against weed, bro. He offers me weed. He, what? Come on, bro. Come on. It's a spiritual warfare every single day. God's children versus Satan's children. The wheats versus the tares. Okay. We all know what the Bible says. Matthew chapter 33 or Matthew chapter 13, verse 38 to 43. Uh, Satan sows seeds, his, his children, uh, the enemy, uh, the tares, okay? And now they're warring against the wheat, the children of the kingdom, the children of God, the children of the Most High God of Israel. So you got to understand, not everyone has their best interests at heart. Even Jesus, a man without sin, he attracted the devil, bro. There was a demon, a devil in his camp, Judas. So what makes you think that your friends that, that all have your best interests at heart all want to see you win? And one thing I notice in life, every time I get to, get to a new level, there's always a new friend. And then I notice that that friend is usually going to end up being used. And then and he's going to be used to help me level up in life. That's one thing I notice in life. Because what does the Bible say? That sit in my right hand and I will make your enemies your footstool. So sometimes God will send these, these saying children as, as so-called friends, right? And they're just going to help you level up. All right? Like there's this one dude. I'm not going to say this dude's name. But, uh, you know, I met a uh, content creator, New Breed, through him. And this guy was Satan's child. And he was coming my way, disguising himself as a friend, as, you know, he wanted to build, oh, I like your videos, or this and that, blah, blah, all just, you know, fake, fakeness, right? And he ended up backstabbing me. And only because of him, I was able to meet Newbury. Like, not a coincidence, bro, you see? And all, I mean, this story after story, bro. So sometimes God will allow the enemy, these fake friends in your life, just to get you to get, and to get you to a new level that you wouldn't have went by yourself. Sometimes God got to use these people. Just like God had to use Judas for, to get, to get uh, Christ, to get Jesus, to ascend to the kingdom of God. If it wasn't for him, he would have never have ascended. Judas was a snitch. He was a snake. Okay, these fake friends say in children, they're snakes. They say one thing and they do the opposite. They're fake hypocrites. Okay, so you got to understand as a chosen one, there's a war against you as God's children. Okay. God wants you to advance to the kingdom of God. Satan doesn't. Satan is, is jealous. He's envious. He's a snake. He's a hater, bro. Satan's children have the same traits. They're haters. They're jealous. They're envious. All right? So understand spiritual warfare. Understand that the people in your circle, not everyone has the best interests in your heart. Mark, how do I know? Well, the Bible says you know a tree by its fruits and um, to test the spirits. So a good tree doesn't bear bad fruit and a bad tree doesn't bear good fruit. That's how you know. And, um, you know, many people disguise themselves as wolf in sheep clothing. A lot of these, these so-called friends, I'm telling you, bro, I would have never got to the next level in life if it wasn't for these uh, Satan's children. I would have never. <laughs> so you see how the Bible says, sit on my right hand and I will make your enemies your footstool. Jesus is a perfect example of that, guys. If it wasn't for Judas, he would have never ascended. He, 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 had a step, he had a step on Judas, bro. He had a step on him. Woohoo! So same thing with you. Don't be mad when when they slander, when they cast their stones at you, bro. Understand? Collect those stones, bro. Collect all those stones. Collect them and build build a castle. Build your house. I need more of these enemies because I need. A, I'm building my kingdom right now. I need. I need. A, I need some uh some equipment for my roof. So bring it on, Satan's children. Bring it on, agents. Bring it on. I need. I need more equipment. All those stones they cast. You gotta understand a king. He's gonna use those stones to build his kingdom. With, build his castle with. I need I need more stones for my for my roof. So bring it on, Satan. Bring it on, bro. So be be consider all joy. As I understand that all things are working out in your favor. All you chosen ones, all you anointed ones, all you followers of Christ. Woo! Man, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, watch the end screen right here too. I love you guys so much. I am out. Peace.